Hello and welcome. This is Columbia Basin Research's first video in a multi-part series on using Program User, which stands for User Specified Estimation Routine. User is a program created by Columbia Basin Research at the University of Washington School of Aquatic and Fishery Sciences with funding provided by the Bonneville Power Administration. Program User allows investigators to estimate parameters for studies consisting of multinomial or product multinomial distribution. Multinomial distributions have the following characteristics. Number one, all possible outcomes of the study can be characterized in terms of a finite number of discrete categories. Number two, the categories are mutually exclusive and exhaustive, i.e. an individual in the study can be classified into one and only one category. Number three, the data from the study consists of the number of individuals in the study that fall into each category. A model within the user framework consists of a likelihood with zero or more auxiliary likelihoods. Each likelihood consists of two or more categories, and each category consists of number one, a unique label for identifying the category, number two, the probability for the category defined as a function of the model parameters, and number three, a count indicating the number of observations for the category. Since the categories are mutually exclusive and exhaustive, probabilities must sum to 1.0. Today, in this first video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Program User and navigate its various menus. Future videos in this series will run you through one likelihood, joint likelihood, abundance estimation, and hypothesis testing examples. All right, so first we need to go to the Columbia Basin Research website. Go to cbr.washington.edu. There are various things you can do on our website, but for our purposes, you need to click on the Tools and Models. That's where we keep our statistical software. If you click on Tools and Models, you'll see Parameter Estimation. And under the header, you can find Program User. Click on User, and it will bring you to the Program User page at cbr.washington.edu slash analysis slash apps slash user. We always list our current version right here. You can find previous versions over here. For our purposes, you don't need those. You want the most current version right here. So click on that version. And there, you can find the user 4.70 MSI file. It'll help install it on your system. It's here under Distribution. Click on that, save that wherever you save your files, open the folder that it's in and double click on user 4.70 MSI. The user setup wizard comes up, click next, decide where you want the file, click next, then click install. A uh, user account control might come up and ask if you want this app to make changes to your device. It's not going to make any major changes to your device, so you can click yes and then wait for it to finish installing. After that, click finish. From there, you can go to the search bar and type user. User should pop up, click on it, and run the program. The interface for program user consists of the navigation panel here on the left and the contents page here on the right. The active content page at startup is the parameters page. Along the top of the user dialog box is a toolbar with buttons that provide one button shortcuts to the corresponding actions in the file menu. You can see here, new workspace, load workspace, save workspace, save workspace as, load model definition, save model definition, load category counts, and save category counts. Which you can see here when I click on the file menu are the same actions. Buttons W pertain to a workspace file, buttons with M pertain to model definition, buttons with C to a category count file. The navigation panel defaults to the left-hand side, but you can toggle its visibility and the toolbar's visibility on and off by clicking on view and checking or unchecking the toolbar and navigation panel boxes as I'm doing here. The navigation panel is organized to show the usual progression of steps one would normally take in defining a model, estimating the parameters, and viewing the results. Each content page has a previous and next button in the lower right side of the screen to allow the user to progress through these steps. However, the user can also double click on the title of any content page to go directly to that page, unless it's grayed out, thus unavailable. Headers used strictly for organizational purposes, like this define the model, are distinguished from content pages by the use of blue text for actual content pages. The title of the currently active page is displayed in bold, as parameters currently is here. From actions, you can clear any current estimates. This has been lesson one on using Program User, in which we covered downloading and installing Program User and navigating its various menus. Future videos in this series will run through one likelihood, joint likelihood, abundance, estimation, and hypothesis testing example. Please note that if for any reason you are having trouble with Program User and these videos are not sufficient to answer your question, you can find the user manual at cbr.washington.edu slash analysis slash app slash user. The PDF manual is here. You can either load it in a web browser as I'm doing now, or you can download it to view in Adobe. 
If you're using Program User and have any questions or comments on that same page, you may also give us feedback via our User Satisfaction Survey. We would greatly appreciate any feedback you have in helping make future versions of this program to be more useful to our users. We hope that this video helps you get the most out of Program User. Again, if you have any questions or comments in regard to Program User, please fill out our survey as previously detailed. You can also contact Columbia Basin Research at web at cbr.washington.edu. Best of luck on your estimation routines and thank you.